Hi, everybody. Sorry. <laughs> I'm getting ready to get dressed and to head out to work, but um, it's still morning, five more minutes before afternoon, and I wanted to do a quick card pull for my I Am Intuitive Art page. I am going to be using the Archangel Power tarot cards. Sometimes I use them like tarot or tarot, as some people say. Um, <clears throat> and sometimes I just use them like oracle cards because uh, whatever my intuition tells me to do. I'm still learning tarot. Um, for me, I just, when I started reading about 12 years ago, um, out in the open, I, a lot of how I read was by intuition. Um, and the cards just assist in that. So I'm going to do a card pull. And I'm going to read the card and, and then allow infinite spirit to give me whatever insights that come. And I'll try to keep it short. So right now I'm shuffling. This is a huge deck. 78 cards is a lot of cards. Um, so I think the way I'm going to do it is I'm just going to pull... I'm going to fan, fan the cards out like so and just pull. Okay, let's see what this card says. The Moon, Archangel Haniel. The card says, the opportunity to improve your plans. Listen to your intuition for accurate guidance. Face your fears and grow stronger. This is so cute. If you look in the bottom uh, of the, the card, we've got a little, it almost looks like a uh, white Pomeranian and then there's a raccoon on the other side. Uh, obviously, it's nighttime and the moon is illuminating her um, Archangel Haniel's path. And I think that's what most of us are looking for in general, whether you believe in uh, getting spiritual guidance or not. We're all looking for something to illuminate our path. Am I going in the right direction? Am I making the right choices? What's going to happen if I take this path? Am I going to end up coming to a spot where I can't go any farther? And all of these questions arise. A lot of times we don't even know. We almost have to just kind of like go and see what happens. Um... I'm sorry, I'm still in my morning clothes, and I, I did my face and all that, and, and uh, I just have to throw my clothes on and leave. That's, that's my next step. Uh, but I am in my house coat, and I'm not ashamed. How's that for illumination? Um, I want you to see me as I really am, and I just be, got the insight that I needed to pull a card. So... This whole concept of not knowing where we're going has been around since the beginning of time. I don't think that anybody really knows where they're going. We make decisions in our lives based on the knowledge that we have right now. Sometimes we're just fed up and we need a change. And we still don't know if that change is going to be what's best for us. So <clears throat> when it comes to guidance and card reading, 
it's not really to tell the future. It's to give us hope for the future. That guidance is there to say, look, this is your path right now. Just keep moving and trust the path. Trust the process. And as other things come in, more will be revealed. And I remember when I was 18 years old, I had to know. I wanted to know. I went to readers that wanted, you know, I wanted them to tell me exactly what was going to happen. It's a fear. It's a fear of making a mistake. It's a fear of stepping out into unknown territory. And you don't want to make a mistake. You don't want to be hurt. You don't want to be in a position that's um, unhealthy. But I don't think that any of us really know until we do. And that stepping out in faith and trust takes a lot of courage. And it doesn't happen overnight. I'm sorry. This keeps happening. I don't know why. So... This card, the moon, to me, speaks to me that when times are dark or when the night falls, the moon is there to illuminate my path. It hasn't changed. It hasn't gone away. A cloud may be over it. It may be rainy. It may not be a full moon. But that moon is still there, even if I can't see it. And to keep going in that momentum, when all seems dark, takes faith, courage, trust, persistence. And just the knowing that inevitably more will be illuminated is all we really need to know. Now, I don't like pat answers of anything. So there are extreme conditions and there are home, people that are homeless. There are people that are sick. And I'm sure they wanna know where they're gonna end up. Are they gonna have a place to live? Uh, are they going to get well or not? But being in that place, that extreme place, that's tough. And that takes so much courage. So when we as intuitive beings give guidance... It's not like we're supposed to tell what the future holds, but instead give bits and pieces of information for hope. Let's see what the next card says. Six of Ariel. Ariel is a nature angel. Um, I have actually, I had an experience where I saw Ariel outside of my farmer's porch one evening several years ago, and I painted her. Um, she had fem... I say she, she had feminine qualities. Um, but this card is Ariel at the base of an apple tree. How apropos for the season that we're in. Material needs get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways. 
So if you are a person that is in a tough spot right now and you're pulling everything that you have from your insides to gain courage to move forward perhaps this card is for you that your material needs will get fulfilled in magical and unexpected ways acts of kindness giving or receiving with a grateful heart. So I don't know who this is for, but somebody out there needs to hear this. And something is going to happen for somebody out there that has been praying, being mindful and accepting of this situation right now, not giving up, not stopping and staying stuck but moving forward no matter the circumstances and magical mystical things will happen that's what this card means and here's one more card and then I will call it a day Solutions, Archangel Zadkiel. Zadkiel is an awesome angel if you're looking for solutions. Um, you simply just have to ask Zadkiel for help. I have in the past, and solutions have come. Solutions that I b thought at the time was an impossibility. Um, Zadkiel wants to bring people to that conclusion. And so of the three cards now, we have your path is being illuminated. Keep on it. Even when it seems dark. Material needs are going to be fulfilled. Whoever you are in the place that you're in, this is for you on that illuminated path. Keep being courageous. And success comes from objective compromise, self-control and patience. Sometimes things happen to us in life and the only objective is to teach us to be patient. And I can say this from my whole heart as an impatient person. Never had patience. But the lessons that have come into my life to teach me patience really wouldn't want anybody to have to go through. But for my soul, it was necessary. So if the objective is to teach you patience, and if that is the lesson to learn, you will be out of this. Forgiving and help and healing energy. So the fire's burning. The fire's burning for you to learn self-control and patience, to keep moving forward, to know that your material needs are going to be met. Learn the art of forgiving to heal and if anything if it's not to forgive somebody else forgive yourself forgive yourself for being human we're human we have a human condition feelings emotions we're imperfect forgive yourself And ask Zadkiel to help you find a solution to your situation. And you will. You will. I don't know when. I don't know when. I'm not going to tell you when. That's not for me to say. 
Because the infinite spirit, the universe is so huge that if I were to tap in right now, this is a message for one person in particular that's going to hear it. And they're going to know. And I'll give you an example real quick, and then I have to go. Many, many years ago, my mother had a cold sore in her eye. That's very dangerous. And no matter what the doctors gave her, it wasn't working. So the doctor said to my mother, I'm going to use an old um, hydrotherapy method. I want you to alternate hot and cold, hot and cold. At that time, my mother, I don't believe was working. I can't remember the details, but I don't believe she was working at that time. And she was watching something on TV. It was like a healing type service thing on TV. And the person got an intuitive hit and faced the camera and said, somebody out there has an eye issue going on and it's not getting any better. And I'm here to say your eye issue is going to be healed. And she kept doing that. Yes, this might sound woo-woo, but her eye healed. And it was a combination of things. Uh, what the doctor told her to do, being at the right place at the right time. Her needs were met. Can I sit here and say that never happened? It happened. Do I know how? I don't know how. But I know that it did happen. And I believed her. And she believed it. So this message is meant for one person in particular that's going to hear this live reading today. And you know who you are. And I don't know how far this is going to go. But it's for somebody in a really tough spot right now. I would say either on the edge of losing everything, their house, and being homeless, or already homeless. Um, lost their business, lost it all. Somebody in that vein. So, blessings to everybody today. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I hope to do more of these readings in the future. God bless. Take care. Be well. Bye-bye.